Hey Danny, let's read. Today we're going to read our Disney Pixar Character Encyclopedia New Edition. And you wanted to read about Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Remy. Rats aren't supposed to like humans, and they certainly aren't supposed to have a passion for cooking. But Remy isn't like other rats who spend their time eating trash, dodging traps, and avoiding poison. Remy has a special talent, and he dreams of being famous, a famous chef, just like his hero, Auguste Cousteau. Nosing around, Remy has a highly developed sense of smell and taste. These skills will help to make him a great chef, but they are also pretty useful skills for a rat. Remy is a, the best poison checker in his whole colony. If you are what you eat, then I only want to eat the good stuff, he says. Anyone can cook. When the food critic Anton Ego demands dinner, Remy knows just what to make. Ratatouille. After a single bite, the famous critic is a changed man and declares that Remy is the finest chef in all of France. Lucky break. Remy's curiosity is about, about humans is, leads to trouble, just as his dad said it would. The rat colony has to flee its home, thanks to Remy. While he ends up alone in Paris, Fortunately, he finds himself right outside Gusto's restaurant. Natural chef. At first, Remy's pal Linguini gets all the credit for being the excellent new chef. When the truth is revealed, it takes a while for everyone to get used to the idea with a pinch of luck and a dollop of friendship and a sousson of talent, Remy finally, lends, finally finds the recipe for success. Linguini. When clumsy garbage boy Linguini spills the soup in Gusto's kitchen, it turns out to be the luckiest accident he has ever had. Remy saves the soup in Linguini's job and the unlikely pair form a double act that will change both of their lives. Oh, remember how he kept talking about the little chef? Linguini has been fired from every job he's ever had Working at Gusto's is his last chance. True chums. Skinner, oh, that's another character. Skinner, sneaky chef Skinner is a small guy with big plans. After Chef Gusto's death, he becomes head chef and doesn't let anyone forget who's boss. The short-tempered chef rules the kitchen by fear. However, when he meets an, an even smaller chef, Skinner finally gets what he deserves. He's a low-down chef. He's scheming and he smells a rat. Does he fire or try to fire um, Linguini? Colette, as the only female chef working at Gusto's, Colette has had to be enough to has had to be enough to survive. Tough to survive. She is often the first person to arrive in the morning and the last one to leave at night. She is determined, but to be a top chef, she's determined to be a top chef, but underneath her hard baked exterior, Colette is, a sweet, is sweet and kind. Follow the recipe, she says. Always follow the recipe. She's a tough teacher. She, Colette is assigned to teach the rookie chef Linguini the basics. At first, she is very strict, but as Linguini proves to be willing and grateful people, Colette starts to like him. And when he kisses her, thanks to Remy, of course, she starts to do more than just like him. <laughs> Emil. Is that Remy's big brother, Danny? He's a picky eater. Whatever he picks up, he eats. Emil is happy to eat garbage and doesn't understand Remy's love of fine food or his habit of washing his paws before eating. However, easygoing Emil accepts that his brother is different and goes along with all of his ideas, no matter how weird or dangerous they are. You have a gift, he says to Remy. Django. Django? Remy's dad has no problem with the way rats live or what they eat. To Django, 
taking food does, isn't stealing if nobody wants it. As the rat colony's leader, it is his job to keep the pack together and safe from the rat's greatest enemy, humans. If only he can make his youngest son understand that he is just trying to protect him. Gusto. Once considered the finest chef in Paris, Auguste Gusto ran a five-star restaurant, wrote a world-famous cookbook, and stared in his own TV cooking show. Unfortunately, a bad review of his restaurant by food critic Anton Ego cost Gusto one of his stars and broke the now four-star chef's heart. And Anton Ego, the world's most feared food critic, loves to dish out cutting criticisms. Ego's reviews can make or break a chef's reputation, but the fussy foodie is extremely hard to please, and few restaurants ever meet his high standards. He is an expert on fine food, but doesn't seem to find much pleasure in eating it. Huh, I take cooking very seriously. And there's the chefs and Mustafa. I don't know these people. Oh, and that's onto Wally. Okay, Danny, so that's our reading of gratitude for tonight. Sound good? Okay.